I'm from Uganda, which worldwide is not known to be a rich country. At least, you know, they call us poor. <laughs> Interesting. Which might actually be true financially. Of course, we do have loads of things in which we consider ourselves rich. But being from Uganda, that means that a lot of us actually did grow up in some form of agriculture. A lot of Ugandans grow up keeping animals, keeping chickens, and more commonly, digging, using the hole to till the ground. Over here, it's not very common to find lots of mechanized farming. People using tractors and things like that to farm. No, that's not so common. So you're going to find a lot of people growing up and hating this thing called agriculture. Now, I was fortunate enough to not grow up that way because it's probable that if I'd grown up that way, I'd also hate this thing called agriculture or farming. But I was raised in the city, not in loads of wealth though, below average, I would say. That doesn't really matter though, does it? And by God's grace, I managed to become a doctor, a human medical doctor. I studied medicine, spent years at the university, and I graduated as a doctor. And in my paths of trying to find a side hustle and trying to find other ways of getting money, I landed on farming. So I decided, hey, let me try out this thing called farming. Now for us here in Uganda in, and in lots of parts of Africa, farming is not cool. No, it's for the old guys or it's for the broke guys. Usually the old guys have done all the work that they enjoy doing. They've had all the fun. They have made all their money and now they just want to relax. So they just want to go and sit at home on their farm. And then they're looking at these animals that they have. They're looking at their poultry houses like this, you know, looking at the chickens that are inside or they are just ordering guys around to, you know, move the tractor over there, get the hole, go and dig that. And so it makes a lot of sense. And the younger guys, they want to work on the computers. They want to be the ones innovating and designing stuff. And so it's uncommon that you'll find young guys like me spending lots of time doing farming. But hey, I think I'm changing the narrative. You see, there is nothing more important than food in this world. Probably God. Yeah, certainly. Only God. I do believe that after God, there is nothing more important than food in this world. We do need the technology, we do need the inventions and everything, but without food, it's all useless. Even before tractors were invented, even before cool smartphones were invented, we still had to farm. And even if technology disappears today, we shall still do need to farm because we do need to live unless we decide that we don't want to live anymore. Then it doesn't make sense for us to continue farming. But it doesn't matter what happens, we still will need food. And so it doesn't make sense to me, and it didn't make sense to me, that the young people were deciding to run away from this essential part of life. And we were making it unattractive. We made it feel like it's for the older people. I'll tell you something. The population of the world is growing exponentially. Compared to what it was like a hundred years ago, it's exponential. In Uganda, more than 70% of the population is under 30 years of age. I do believe that's actually under 25 years. I do remember a statistic a while back, 50% of Uganda's population was 15 years and below. I don't know if that narrative has changed, but all these guys are growing up. They're all going to reach reproductive age and they're all going to reproduce. And all of them are going to need food. So why would we be running away from making food? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So on my paths to get a side hustle, I decided to start out farming and look where I am. I started with just 700 birds. Well, 800 birds. In a rather small house, I built a two-story house and put the birds down. Right now it's occupied both down and up, but I graduated from that. Look at what's happening all around me. This is a 10,000 capacity broiler chicken house. It is 200 meters in length. 200 meters you see right from the beginning there to the very end the other side it's 200 meters in length that's almost the length of two football pitches and there is four of them right here on the farm so the potential is big the capacity is big there is no limitation as to how much food we're going to need in the coming years on our planet no limitation
And hey, it's not like I'm very boring. Come on, I also hold nice stuff, you know. I hold a cool phone. Despite the fact that I don't feel like it's something very valuable. I know how to use a camera because I'm using a camera to record. I edit the YouTube videos myself, so I know how to use a computer. I edit the thumbnails, take the pictures. I run a lot of the business myself, so I do know how to do a lot of these things. And I feel like it's been a beautiful narrative for me because recently I've got loads and loads and loads of young guys who have physically met, who have been inspired by me to start farms. A lot of them were working on the streets. A lot of them were, you know, hustling, struggling, trying to find jobs in the former world, you know, trying to work in the office. And they're not making ends meet. And so they decided to start out farming. And a lot of them have actually turned out to be successful. And you know, when we, the young guys, get back into farming, that's when we shall grow it. Because we are more creative. The older guys, their minds are more, you know, they have had something imprinted in them over a very long time. And because of that, it's difficult to change them. It's difficult to come up with new ideas from them. The younger guys, when they do put their minds on something and decide to come up with an idea, something that will make life simpler, they're more likely to take us in front. And I'm so glad that I'm part of this revolution around the world you know not just in my country not just in africa but all around the world where we are having younger guys young people go into farming investing in farming investing in feeding our populations and understanding that hey farming is actually not a boring thing it can actually be a good thing someone who went to school someone who studied medicine someone who speaks good english someone who knows how to use a phone and a computer can actually do choose to go and run a farm so yes hundreds of people have contacted me and they have started running farms because of me and this is just the beginning guys here at farm up we are trying to make it as easy as possible for people to enter the whole farming thing especially for the younger guys with time we're going to be coming up with different projects different ways in which we can engage younger farmers into farming because they are the future the ones who are going to take us forward the ones who are going to develop this thing and if we can get a lot of these young guys involved we do have less chaos on the streets because the young guys are usually the ones who cause most chaos you know involved in robberies in crime in drugs this is a very good disruption as long as people have a source of income they are less likely to go into the destructive things thanks guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button smash that notification bell catch you very soon with another video Lots of love. Bye-bye.